Yo, what is going on guys? It is Pup, and today you already know what it is. It's a GWA Finals. We are taking on the Spin Doctor, and uh, you know he got the got the better of me with the Choice Scarf Scizor in regular season. But now we've made it here. I'm really nervous about this game, but we're gonna pull it through. Um, don't mind the sprites. Uh, it's April Fool's Day right now. That's when we're playing actually. So it's Monday So this isn't going up until Wednesday, but boohoo you guys can enjoy PWC on Monday and then this on Wednesday But spin has a crazy team. He's got a lot of really good stuff. I'm really scared about it. He's an insane battler um, I've heard from a lot of people that it's really been a battle um, Like they're not surprised it's come down to me and spin um, it's really been like a I feel like it's been a five-man race this season um, and Luckily, I've made it here. I fought a lot of really really hard opponents uh, to make it you know beating Caleb twice beating crep um, Those are not easy wins and I mean I've dropped to spin um, Dropped to zero like I've had a really tough schedule I'm just glad to have made it here and uh, very very excited no matter what happens but we're bringing, we're we're bringing some heat today. I'll tell you that, um, and I'm hoping that it's enough to be able to take on spin. So we're gonna get started here. Um, don't don't skip, don't skip through. Just don't do it. You, you guys have to see what I'm bringing. But their team put it up there right now. They got Gouging Fire. They've got Clefable. They've got Quackable. They've got Scizor, uh, Claude Sire. Uh, Tornadus Therian, Raging Volt, Sinistra, Sableye, and Vulpix. Um, I don't have the um, the Terras up just yet, but I know Scizor. Um, I think, well, okay. I know Raging Bolt. It's, um, they have Fairy. Electric and Fairy, which is crazy. Alright, so that thing is going to be a huge threat. Um, I'm pulling them up right now. Sableye is another Terra Captain with Ghost, Water, Fairy. Sinistra um, has Ghost, water and the third type isn't loading of course um and scissor has fire water as it's uh, off types and i'm pretty sure steel as well come on show me that sinistra type i really should have got this all like worked up before it doesn't really matter um i don't think that sinistra does come to the game anyways but they have a really really scary team man um just looking at it they got gouging fire which packs a punch um clefable has like unaware so i can't really set up or it could just be like magic card and set up itself which is scary they have scissor which could be banded it could be sword stance it can be anything um they have quackable that can easily sweep they have a uh, raging bolt that packs a, it literally just like one shots a lot of things and it could run booster energy for special attack it could run um even like the mv booster energy speed which would be sick um it could run calm mindset it could run anything um, Sinistra could set up Calm Minds, um, you know, they just have a lot of annoying stuff on their team. So hopefully I can take advantage of it. We're going to start off with Choice Specs Enam. Yes, that is Enam. Um, with Terra Fairy. This is our only Terra Captain we're bringing. Um, so that literally wipes off half our team already. But we just clicked Terra Fairy. We're starting at our roots. This is where we started with Terra Iron Valiant with just Choice Specs Moonblast Terra Fairy. That's what we did in week one, and we're going to close the season off with the same thing. Moonblast, Earth Power, Healing Wish, Draining Kiss. I didn't even need Mystical Fire on this thing. Um, we're one-shotting. I mean, not one-shotting. We're two-shotting uh, most Scizors anyways. Technically, if they're uh, very, very spidef, then they can take it. Uh, but I don't anticipate that, and if they do, I mean, if they are that, then I have other answers, which is fine. Um, but we are max speed, max special attack with Modest. And so we're getting up to 310 speed, which means we're always going to outrun Gouging Fire, which is awesome. We didn't need to run any more speed investment on this thing. Only thing that outruns it, obviously, Scarfers, things that are plus one, uh, bad voice crack. Um, but things that are plus one, things that are Scarfed, and the Torn, which is coming over from my team. Next up, we've got the Iron Treads. <laughs> um, it's got the Aka Berry, just so it can always eat a hit from plus one gouging fire so i always eat choice banded flare blitz i always eat a plus one this is from admin as well um i always eat like dragon dance if they're plus one i always eat it and then with the flare blitz recoil plus earthquake always takes them out if they're um speed and attack investment if they're um, attack and hp then it won't take them out um but at that point 
I could end up rapid spinning first and then earthquaking just depends on what happens but we have iron head it hits the clefable um, it also hits like terra fairy on the um, the raging bolt which this is also a pretty good check to raging bolt sometimes um, because we're gonna be either resistant or immune to every single move that they have I don't think they actually get a move that hits me for better than resisted damage which is awesome um, we have knockoff on this thing in case we need it that's pretty decent into their team but uh, rapid spin in case they want to set up hazards I'm especially afraid of um, setting up spikes I feel like spikes are really decent into me just because my my team is decently bulky obviously it only hits um, four of my members well you can't tell but it's only gonna hit four of my members it's not gonna hit everything uh, but it's still really really annoying for me to deal with um, we have the same speed tier as Enam, which is awesome, and then max attack adamant, so we can really, really pack a punch. Speaking of punch, we've got one punch, our Palafin here. I, it's not Palafin, it's April Fool's Day, okay? But this is where the heat comes in, alright? And this is also why I don't want spikes up. So Rocking Focus Sash, Jet Punch, Drain Punch, Psych Up, Encore. Why? Why, why would I run this? That's, there's a really, really good explanation for this. So, if anything wants to set up. So, if they go Gouging Fire, they're going to um, go for Dragon Dances. I can just Encore. Just Encore them on the spot. Once they get Encored, they're going to at least get to, like, plus four. I Psych Up, and I Jet Punch, and I destroy their entire team. They have Water Absorb on the Claude Sire. I've got Drain Punch. I had Ice Punch at first, but I thought Drain Punch was just better um, into their team. Honestly, I could change it back though, now looking. Uh, it's really just for like the Quackable, um, because I didn't have anything to hit Quackable for. I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep it. But we Psych Up, we Encore them, um, so that will be the Gouging Fire. And they also don't do too much to me when I'm in my hero form, just because I'm bulky Palafin, I resist. Um, I also, if they want to set up like sword stances with Scizor, I can Encore Psych up them. If they want to set up Calm Mines, I can Encore Psych up and just get special defense boost, which is really nice. If they want to do that with like Sinistra, I can always do that. So I'm always, um, really good at beating their setup mods. So that's really the point of this thing. Focus Dash is so I can always eat one hit from Gouging Fire. So if they do DD once, or if they DD a couple times, um, especially if they want to get greedy and like get super high up and I let them so if I let them get to plus six plus six and start sweeping the rest of my team I just go into this thing I psych up them I live with the focus ash and I jet punch and knock them out so that's really what I'm hoping for I have to run the max speed on this thing um technically I could save some EVs but I'm not trying to risk anything um the thing that this is for is I want to make sure I'm out running Quackable for sure. That's really important. Um, so that if we are able to psych up their speed boost from like Aqua Step, um, so if they Aqua Step, if they Sword Stands, we're gonna be able to psych those up and uh, outrun it. Same with the Gouging Fire. We're gonna outrun that thing. If they get up the Dragon Dances, we're always gonna outrun them. So I feel pretty good about that speed tier. And um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna be a really tough time to use this set. But if I get to use it, it's gonna go absolutely insane. Another insane set, we're taking Sloking Galar, the same set that we lost to in Kona, well pretty much, the same set that Kona beat us with in the Pokemon Sports League Finals, we're bringing it here, Calm Mind, Iron Defense, um, we're, we have Calm Mind instead of Amnesia, I'm pretty sure they had Amnesia, um, but they don't have the uh, biggest special threat, obviously, they have um, Torn, which is like Pax Punch, and they have the Raging Bolt, but I feel like Calm Mind is good enough to go around them. So, Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Sword Power, Slack Off. You might notice we have nothing to hit Sableye. Oh well. We're, we're going to have to deal with that if it comes. I don't think it comes, but it could. And if it Terra's out of its Dark type, then we can hit it anyways. So, we're in a perfectly good time then. Uh, but I don't think it comes because their team is already decently weak to Enam. But this thing it eats so many hits. Um, Iron Defense, like I can, out, uh, I can outpace the Gouging Fire. I can... Uh, outpace i don't know like i can outpace the quackable and beat that um i can outpace the clef even 
uh, and beat that thing as long as they're not like some crazy move that hits me better than Moonblast, um, then we beat that thing. So this is a really good answer to a lot of their setup threats. Obviously they do have the double unaware, but stored power kind of goes around that. Um, and this thing destroys Claude Sire anyways. So no reason to, you know, really care that much about it. But if we get a chance to set this thing up, like say they have uh, Claude Sire out and you know, they're setting up hazards or something, we can go into this. We can click Iron Fence, we can click Call Mine, and we can set up and we can sweep through their team or just like break a huge hole in them. Uh, so that's really what I'm hoping for with this guy. I really hope it works out. We've also got Air Scorp. That's a ni nice, that's a funny Gligar. Um, but this is our Gligar with Eviolite immunity, so we can't be toxic. So this thing can always come in on the Claude Sire. Um, I have Spikes, Earthquake, Toxic, U-Turn. Uh, this is just a great set. Spikes are insane versus their team. They uh, have one Pokemon that they don't hit. Well, two if you count Magic Guard, Clefable. Uh, but it would be nice to see if they're Magic Guard. Um, and, you know, Spikes are just really good for chipping them down. I'd really like the chip on the Scizor. Um, even the Raging Bolt is really nice to have some chip on it. Um, Claude Sire as well. And then we just Earthquake. Uh, it hits pretty much everything. We have Toxic to hit what it doesn't. And we can stop the setup. Um, we have U-Turn as well. Just so we can get some momentum on guys like Torn that we can't really touch. Um, or, like, we're decently slow. Um, obviously, a lot of their team is a lot slower than us. Um, but, you know, if we're against, like, a Gouging Fire, we, um, we can U-Turn out if they're setting up dragon dances or something and we can go into palafin and take that thing on and get to plus six and win so i thought that that was really nice to have obviously we don't touch torn very well and torn is one mon that my team does not deal too well with um but hopefully we're able to get past it we can just toxic that thing and set it on timer at least and then last up we have chiyu rocking a choice scarf set so we outrun everything on their team um, this one outruns a plus one gouging fire So if they run like scarf uh, torn then more power to them But we have max special attack a lot of speed and some HP with dark pulse flamethrower psychic memento Dark pulse is the click 90% of the time. It's so good into their team The only uh, resist they have are quackable and clefable and if we're able to chip down clefable or just get a couple flinches on that thing We're in a good spot flamethrower is also great into their team um, really depends, but they have the gouging fire that can four times resist that um, A lot of the times they might bring a quackable to deal with this like maybe um, Assault vest maybe something like that so we can psychic that if we predict it psychics also a really good press here And then we have memento so we can memento Say like they're quackable if it comes as assault vest we memento the quackable coming in We go into our sloking and we just set up and we sweep that's really the thought about it um, you know, it makes me nervous even talking through all my game plan. Um, I've been building this team for a hot minute before I even knew that Spin was going to be my opponent. And uh, I think that these six are really what's going to bring me there. If I win this, I'm going to be so happy. It's been a great season anyways, though. So, I mean, a loss. I, I can't be too upset, uh, especially to a great battler like Spin. So, yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys do enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in our finals match. All right, we're here versus Spin and no Torn. I'm actually happy about that. Having the Clef and Claude is not the best thing, but no Sableye, I really like. Um, okay, no Sinistra as well. No Torn, just Clef over it, which is not bad. Um, man, okay, the speed tiers go crazy. My speed tiers go insane. Versus them, they have to have some sort of scarf, or I'm thinking. Um, I have a really great lead in Enam. Uh, it matches up against everything except for the uh, the Claude very well. I could also go Air Scorp here, and just set up hazards. I don't think they have removal outside the Quack. Uh, or I could just go uh, my Chiyu here and Choice Scarf. I could even go, you know, I could even go to this thing. Oh man. Actually, now that I see no Torn, I'm gonna go for Glory here. Uh, because I get completely free Earthquakes off on their team. It's actually insanely strong. I'm 252 Adamant. Good luck to spin. I'm incredibly nervous for this game. But I feel like we're gonna go well. 
I, I like this. I like their team. I like what to see. Raging Bolt's definitely scary. Um, it's either that or the Scizor as their Terra Caps. Uh, good luck to them. Whew. Okay, this is what we've prepared all season for. Spin one of the best players in this by far. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. See what he leads with. Um, just so we know, if they don't have a Scarfer, crazy. Okay. Uh, sorry, my stuff is lagging a little bit. Okay, they leave quack, but if they don't have a Scarfer, like I'm faster um, than everything. Okay, Iron Treads versus Quackable. Close Combat does knock me out. Any sort of close combat will knock me. And I don't have a good switch in. I mean, I have a good switch in the close combat, not to Aqua Step though. Uh, but Aqua Step definitely does not kick me out. The. Okay. The crazy thing is, Rocket Stone plus Earthquake probably takes them out. So I'm gonna go for it. Turn one, I feel like they probably Aqua Step. Um, but they could be Scarfed. And if they're Scarfed, that's fine. Um, I'll know that by them being faster. And I'm faster. So I hope they. Uh, I do hope they Aqua Step. They do. Awesome. Aqua Step. It did. I can't even see with this Raging Bolt in the way. Um, let me calc that exactly. I got my phone right here. Alright, so 323 minus 105. They did 218 with Aqua Step. It's looking like Jolly. I just Earthquake here. I think they have some bulk, so I'm probably not going to knock them out, but I could. I definitely could here. I do just get the Earthquake off. And they live. Um, they're just going to Aqua Step again. It's going to be plus two. That's fine. They're going to take out uh, get the first blood. We take those. That's not that bad. Obviously, Iron Tread's really good into their team, um, but I didn't actually need it. Now they're Moxie boosted. Um, I'm thinking I could just let them get Moxies and Sweep with this thing, which is a crazy thing to think. Um, but they're plus two speed, plus one attack, and they're just like Jolly. Alright, um, Palafin Jet Punch, how much does it do? Not that much in my zero form. I'm gonna go out to it though. And I'm sashed. So I can psych up here, or I could save it. I could give them another sack. And then be plus two attack, plus two speed versus the rest of their team, or even more speed. Hmm. I don't hate it. But this also could just very easily take them out. I'm not sure what they're at. Let me just click Psych Up, as they CC. All right. I'm going to get down to one with the Focus Sash, and I'm going to Psych Up. I mean, obviously we're not in the best spot for this, but we're going to Psych it up. That's fun. Um, we're also minus one um, Spadef and Defense. Now, if they're Jet, this is really, really bad. Um, well, I guess I could just drain them. I mean, just Jet Punch. I'm just gonna Jet. This is really interesting. They could just go Claude. Um, but, like, if they're Water Absorbed, then Claude's a really good play here. Um, getting rid of the Quack this early is really nice, though. Maybe I should have just drained. I mean, should have just Jet, jet Punched them. Or even sacked more to try to get more attack boosts. But oh well. Live and you learn. Um, I feel like in this game, especially if I get rid of Scizor, then um, I kind of go crazy with the uh, Slow King. They do withdraw on the Jet Punch, so what's going to come in? It's the Claude, okay. So we see if it's Unaware or Water Absorb. Okay, water absorb. Okay. 
Um, okay. We could just lose this thing. Or I could save it at 1 HP. Which is what I think I'm going to do. Got to preserve. Set up my rocks. Or I could even EQ with the Gligar. Yeah, Gligar actually looks great with uh, with the Quack Solo. I think next turn, I probably just Earthquake the Quad. They might predict me to switch or something and switch out, which I would hate. But we burned this early. That's not what I wanted to do. I was really hoping I'd be able to take him out, but they definitely had some HP or defense investment. Because the roll is really in my favor if they're like noble. Um, when we talk about the the quack versus my hot reds, they're gonna double. Great play by them. Great play. Do they go back out? No, they go scissor. Okay. Um, Scissor is fine. Now, obviously, Sword Stance is scary. Um, but I'm just gonna set up Spikes versus them. They might be Heavy Duty Boots Quack, which I would hate. Um, but I think I could just go for this. I could have also U turned, but I'm probably faster than them unless they're running a good chunk of investment. Uh, I'm probably getting knocked off right here. You know, maybe I should have just taken damage on this thing for my Enam. Man, I also could have just drain punched into this thing with uh, my Palafin. Like plus one, that drain punch is doing a good chunk and getting me a lot of health back too. Oh well. Ooh, they tear. They tear water, aren't they? Sorry, I'm just pulling up the sheets. They've got to be tear water. Yep. Terra Water. Alright, Choice Band to Terra Blast is like probably like 220, 230, 210, 240. And we are faster. Okay. They're SD. Alright. SD is very, very scary. Plus two. Um, I always live a Terra Blast, no matter what. And I think I just get a Toxic off. This thing is super scary. I'm just gonna click Toxic. Um, I can sack this thing to a turn. I've got other things that can eat. But I don't think they're speed invested at all. I think they're probably just like max HP. But now they've, they're on a timer. They do Terra Blast. We should live this 100%. Unless they're like Expert Belt or something. Ooh. That does 302, I think, is that? Yeah. Which is looking like Adamant. Now I could either set up a second spike here, which might be better in a long game, or Earthquake for a huge amount of shit. really am not sure. This is a huge threat. I'm gonna Earthquake it. They don't even Bullet Punch. Do they have it? They're Trailblaze. Okay. Trailblaze is pretty crazy. Um, but they're definitely slower, so let's say they're like, what, 160 speed investment or something? Um... And at plus one, they get up to 310. Oh, interesting. So that's the same as my, uh, as pretty much everyone else. Um, Palafin, what's your speed tier as hero? It's still faster. So I can either, um, well, I can just jet punch. Or I can go out to Scarf Chiyu, who hits that 310 that they're definitely under.
Yeah. Okay. Let's go to you. And Dark Pulse should knock them out. They're definitely not Salt Dust or anything. Let's look if they're like 252 Spadef. I'm always doing over 50. I'm just gonna Dark Pulse. Um, here, I gotta take Gligar off. We're off to a, like, a bad start, mon-wise, but I still have a couple win cons. I still have my two choice special attackers that go absolutely crazy, and I have the Slow King. And Slow King has the ability to just sweep. Having Talifin as a stack is also not bad. But I know I'm going to ask you them here. And I don't reveal my choice scar because of their speed tier. They do a drop. Okay. Scissors on 50%. They go with Thunderstruck. Okay. Raging Bolt. This thing's got to be a Salt Vested. Yep, definitely a Salt Vested. Um, honestly, I probably just stay in. Um, because a, a flinch would be insane. Like, a flinch would be so good. They can't knock me out with anything. I don't think. Even Modest Draco. Yeah, Modest Draco doesn't knock me out. Scizor being chipped so down, like, down so low is really nice for me. They do let me get another Dark Pulse. Come on, flinch. Flinch, flinch. They bolt. Okay. And... I need to check how much that did. Um, max HP, I mean, max special attack modest does just under 50. Hmm. They might just go Clef. Like, Clef is a good, uh, good ring in here. I do know that uh, Earth Power from Enam goes absolutely crazy. If I was, uh, especially if I was Terra Ground, but I'm not. I'm just Terra Fairy. So Earth Power does. Uh, it will definitely knock out Raging Bolt. Clefable probably eats it. Probably eats one at least. Um, Claude Sire, it does a good chunk. They can't switch in. Scissor Sword Stance. That's Terra. We got the claw here. Oh, I love the damage. Okay, I love damage on claw. And they're black sludge. Okay. Black sludge, and they're also uh, water sludge. All right, so we can get a good chunk here if we want. Uh, Earthquake will definitely knock us out, though. What do I want to do? I think I want a Dark Pulse. And then potentially go into Slow King and set up. I just Iron Defense. Maybe a Flint here would be nice. It looks like Max Pedeth. And they Poison Jab. Okay, we can live that. Awesome, we get Poisoned. Um, it's not the end of the world. Poison Jab. I mean, obviously it's unfortunate if we do end up flinching here. Well, actually, the flinch would be fine, because they can't recover or anything. Alright. Give me a flinch. They also might just, like, set up rocks or something. Come on, give it to me. Instead of these spiders. Okay. Well, that's fine, because I'm planning on going into my sloking anyways. We're at a huge disadvantage. Huge. Absolutely huge, because Chiyu goes down to poison. But, I think it's time to bring it out. I could also just get a kill with Enam, but I think I'm going to go out to Slow King. Let's do it. No more spikes. 
I'm gonna iron defense up this turn. Uh, Clef is probably unaware, but can't toxic me. Can't really do anything. Um, if they're like a, uh, you know, life orb with psychic, that's annoying. Eh, but it doesn't even do much. All right, they set up talk to spikes on me. I'm plus two defense. Claude Sire, um, is their water absorb. Okay, we completely eat anything they would want to go for here. I'm going to set up a Calm Mind. Alright. What do they do? What you going to do, man? They're Haze. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? That is so bad for me. I cannot believe they're Haze. Uh, I'm gonna just Iron Defense up again. They might spam Haze. And they do? Press Haze again. Alright. Haze is a good bring. I'm gonna try one more. I don't think they haze again. Obviously they're just getting healthier, which is bad for me. They do. They're just willing to click haze until the end of time. If I'm at plus zero, like how much am I doing? I mean, literally nothing. All right. Um, I swear, if they predict me this turn, going out to Enam, I'll be upset. Because uh, Earth Power is a 2 with Yeah, they just haze. Okay. We'll always live a poison jab from this thing. Um, I'm not going to Terra Fairy yet, just because they have the toxic spikes up. So I'm just going to click Earth Power. I'm Choice Specs, it's gonna do 51% min if they're like max special. Which I think they're probably about that. Alright, so tough spot. I really wish we were gonna be able to set up with Slower Grow. <laughs> they still have all six mons too. Uh, the nice thing is, like, this mon absolutely cooks them. Obviously, they have. Um, SD or uh, bullet punch probably. We saw Terror Blast, we saw um, SD, and we saw Trailblaze. So maybe they're not bullet punch actually. In that case, like I chip this thing down and I just completely win with the blast. Oh, we just straight up take him out on a crit. Wow. Okay, that's a big crit. No more clock. Hmm. Choice Specs, Terra Fairy Moonblast. Might sweep. With spikes up. Bullet Punch still knocks me. It's the only bad thing. I might be able to outplay them now. I don't know. Got one HP Palafin. Man, I am stressing. I wonder what they end up bringing in here. Maybe like booster energy speed. Um, gouging? I don't know. Gouging, fire. If they're an offensive Dragon Dance, I take them out every time. They go big dog. Okay. And spikes are up. I don't see anything, so they could be scarf. Um, but if they're scarf, then I might be able to set up. So I'm just gonna. I'm at Earth Power. After a spike, if they're max HP, 
um, then I have a chance to knock them out. It's not the best chance. But it's a chance. Based on the way they didn't bring in Scizor, I, either this thing is Choice Scarf, or their Scizor doesn't have Bullet Punch. Which I could easily see at this point. Come on. Also, Flare Blitz, if they're not... Um, if they're not Choice Banded or anything, only has a 50% chance of taking out. They swap. Swap on my Earth Power. Into Quack. Okay. And Quackable goes down. Okay. So at least we're bringing him down a little bit. That would have done a lot of damage to them. Man, what did they go out to here then? Because I feel like Scizor probably... It might not have Bullet Punch. No, they have to bring Bullet Punch. They have to. And the thing is, if they Bullet Punch me, I might be able to beat them with the Slow King. Okay, let's look at Slow King versus Scizor. Um, not Banded. They go up to Cleft. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go out into Sloking. Takes care of the Toxic Spikes. Um, if they want to set up, I can set up too. Like, I don't care. No more Toxic Spikes. They're just gonna Moonblast. Okay. Cleft did 51. With Moonblast. That is a max roll from no investment. Okay. All right, let me just iron defense. They might knock me off, that's fine. But I'm getting the plus two defense here. At this point, Moonblast, I think, sweeps them. I don't think they have, um, don't think they have bullet punch. That's my play right now. Is hope they don't have bullet punch. Man, this is so scary, man. Uh, I might win. We'll see. Their play might be gouging fire here. If they're choice banded with gouging fire versus plus two defense. At that point, I just, I, uh, I out heal them. They do go big dog, okay. Plus two defense. And they're hurt by spikes again. Admin ban um, does 40%-ish. And I just iron fence again. Okay, they're not banded. They're not banded. They're leftovers. They might be a uh, dragon ant set, but that's fine by me. I just iron defense again. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'm feeling it. I am so feeling it right now. They earthquake. Okay. Should do about 100. Yeah, I mean, they're not even max. Wow. Okay. Not even max attack. And now we're at plus four. They just have to hope to crit through. But a crit doesn't even take me out. Probably. Oh, man. Let me go Calm Mind, just in case they want to go, um, the DD, okay. They're DD. But I'm plus four defense, plus one special attack, plus one special defense. Sword power is doing a lot. I feel like I might go for another defense boost, and then sword power should take them out if they're not, like, super duper. At this point, though, we are risking crit. And if we get crit, we lose. But I'm going to plus six. Come on, baby. They set up a sub. Interesting. Okay. Sub. Uh, substitute. Dragon Dance. They are probably Flare Blitz. And Earthquake. Okay. Well, now I'm plus six defense. 
I don't want to get greedy. So I'm just going to start store powering them. As the big dog goes for Earthquake. Alright, yeah, yeah. Does nothing. We're going to take out the sub here. And we should take them out through another sub. If, unless they're like no, um, no speed. Hmm. We'll see. I think they should be speedy, though. They should at least have a decent amount to outspeed e and after plus one. But we're speed creeping down. All right, let's see it. Let's go. Okay, we eat that. We eat that. Come on, sword power. Take him out. Take him out. Okay, it doesn't. Uh, so we have to live at least another crit. Uh... Man, I'm getting stressed out right now, just for this crit. I'm gonna slack off, it's gonna risk an extra crit. Okay, we're gonna get up to full here. They know my whole set. We are in a demanding position. We also, versus this guy, depend, like, looking at his investment, it's a roll to kill us with a crit. We stored power this turn. Come on. Do not. Don't do it. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I think we got it. I think we have won. I think we've done it. Oh my goodness. Okay. There goes gouging. Plus six, plus one. If they bring in Clefable, stored power knocks them out unless they're unaware, and then it does 50. And they can't do anything. I mean, they can knock me off for like 20. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna store it. They probably knock me. If they're uh, magic card, then this is perfect and they die. I wish they're just I wish they would just give me Scizor though. They just want to bring it into crit range, I think, from Raging Bull. The cosmic. Okay. Um okay. They're unaware. Oh no. Plus one defense, plus one special defense. Okay, but I mean, if we go to like plus six, plus six, I think we're beating them. I'm just gonna start call mining. Okay. This is scary. This is really, really scary. We do have the choice specs Enam in the back though, which goes crazy. Even if this thing gets a couple boosts up, we're still doing a lot. Um, we could also just store power here, and we probably would just out go them. They're gonna get, yeah. Okay, plus two, plus two. The nice thing is, like, even though they're unaware, I gain a boost and two stats for this upgrade. Except for, we are doing less and less damage each turn. All right, we're at full health now. I'm just gonna go for it. It's a game of crit at this point. A crit 100% knocks them out no matter what. They're gonna go up to plus three. Okay. Okay, one more might be able to take them out. They moonlight. Okay, so they are moonlight. Moonblast, Moonlight, Cosmic. Alright. We're gonna waste all 16 of these. And just hope for a crit. I guess we're not out of the woods just yet. Definitely not. The nice thing is I do have Encore. So they're gonna go all the way up to full. Crit knocks him out from full. But we don't get one. 
right, let's call mine up again. This might just be a stall fest. Okay, they're plus four. Man, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Dang, okay. I wish I had some sp attack investment. But they, like, never beat me with Moonblast. Let's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're chilling. If they crit... Let me see. A crit Moonblast doesn't even do anything. Yeah, because they're unaware anyways. Oh, they're stored power as well. Okay. Yeah, stored power does not do very much. <laughs> that brought us down. It did 113. Yeah, that's looking like no investment again. Alright, that's four. Man, I guess we're just in crit mode here. First to crit, man. Okay, they're gonna go for another cosmic. They're plus five. That's a huge hit. That is a an absolute massive hit. We only have eight more stored powers. As they moonlight. I should have been counting moonlights. It's okay. We will crit, I believe. I believe we crit. Man, they had the one set that actually beats me. Cosmic power. They don't even do too much. I think they're just gonna heal up here. Ah, oh, I could go Palafin. Bro, is it worth it? I go Palafin Hero. Okay, I Encore them. And I can always just Encore them. I can get my health back in Drain Punch. It's really dumb. I don't think they go for an attack here. I think they go for Moonlight. I'm gonna switch out with my Wincon there. No way they attack here. They Moonlight, awesome. And you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm clicking Encore, baby. They might predict it. Totally fine if they predict it. So I defuse this situation. If they're no bullet punch, I win with Enix. If they switch. If they switch. This is so stressful. This is a long battle, too. Oh, man. I got my heart beating. I get this thing in. They're plus so much defense that I'm not doing any damage with Drain Punch or Jet Punch. Oops, I accidentally clicked my mouse. Come on. Back to my normal setting. A crit Jet Punch would do 50. They do withdraw. Okay. They go Scizor. Okay. Pelican versus Scizor. Hurt by the spikes. I Encore them. Terra Water. Okay, I'm chipping them down a lot. Jet Punch plus Poison here, if it takes them out. All right, that's, it. that's my play. It's a Jet Punch. I'll outspeed the Bullet Punch. Get him out of here, come on. Poison, please tick him down. Oh, they're rocky, okay. And they Terra Blast, okay. Come on, please die. Please die, please die, please die, please die. Oh, they live. The issue is I only have six Lord Towers. I don't know if they're Bullet Punch.
this is a game defining play right here. If I go to Sloking, they should always. Well, I don't want them to knock me off. I'm thinking about doubling into Enam on the clef. I'm gonna do it. Gotta stick to my gut. They could also just Terror Blast and lose this thing, um, but we live that. We always live it um, with Enam. It does a million. I'll tell you that. That does a lot. Okay, they stayed in. No bullet punch, no bullet punch. Terra Blast. Okay. We're down to 96. As they die. I might have thrown, though, because of uh, the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt, Thunderclap. If I Terra Fairy. Yeah. Thunderclap knocks me. Alright, if they go Clef here, then I'm fine. I'm really hoping that's what they do. Please go Clefable. Oh yeah, Palafin's dead as well. Man, I'm just so stressed out. If they're no Thunderclap though, like, they... I noticed in Envy's video they have Body Press. So Raging Bolt, Assault Vest, like Body Press, Draco, Thunderclap, they go, they go Clef. Terra Fairy here. Okay, sorry for the lag. Terra Fairy. We just Terra. Terra Fairy Moonblast, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. You know you want it. No Spadef investment. This is 96 to 114 with choice specs. A modest Terra Fairy Moonblast. And even if they knock us out with Raging Bull, I think we might be able to beat them. Okay. That should die. It's a crit. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. I wish I got that crit earlier, though. Okay, Raging Bolt. Okay, they, they may not be Modest Solvest. I don't know. They go Thunderstruck. Get hurt by the spikes. Let's see it. Nope, they don't have it. They don't have it, and we win. We win the league. Go just the way we started it with Terra Fairy Specs Moonblast and take out Spin. Let's go. I am popping off 2 0 victory. That was one of the most intense battles I've ever had in Draft League. Great game to spin. Oh my goodness. We take it and we are the GWA champions. Man, this season was so good. Um, I loved this season. It was, it was great. Um, we had a lot of amazing plays, a lot of amazing things go on. Um, I think that that double was really, really nice, just to make sure they could never set up on my, my sloking. Oh, and I was out to such a big disadvantage, but I pulled it back, made some great plays. I did it. Let's go. I'm, I'm popping off right now, but definitely a great, great game. Yeah, man, that was amazing. Uh, but that's going to be about it for this season. Next season, we'll be out in a couple of weeks. We'll be drafting soon. So, yeah, be ready for that. But I guess the GWA champion signs off here. Peace out, guys.